Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we are playing Crusader Kings 2, our brand new Byzantine Bash. This is episode 5, and we're just going to keep going. I got a little bit more time until I have to leave for tutoring, so we're live on Twitch. We're having some fun, and away we go. We're going to declare another war and hopefully expand our empire some more. Start prepping for when Crusades proc, because that could be a problem. And also for, like, dynastic inheritance, right? So, Pesheng is pretty strong. Maybe. This isn't all nomad land, is it? Nope. Castles and everything. Well, that's cat. That's nothing. That's useless. So we want this land here. It's less provinces, but it's definitely worth owning. We're going to declare Holy War for Mauritania. Who's going to come in? The Hostan clan? I'm not concerned about them. Let's go get them. We're going to set up a second squad right in the mountains for now. Hmm. That's a nuisance. So easy CG, make sure that battle is going to go our way. Now Siegerific. Get him. Targoviste, sounds familiar. if that Byzantine bash thing is appropriately located or not. Let me know. Hi, we're going to beat you up again. Special tithe. Awesome. Actually, closer battle than I'd like. That was unpleasant. Another special tithe. I don't know what I did right, but I did it right. Build my economy, baby. The economy, stupid. That really is the way to succeed at this game. You're not going to get Ragusa. I could flat out murder this guy.
You're enjoying a late supper at the Great Palace in Constantinople, sampling some of the new wines brought in from the provinces when the sound of a distant explosion is heard. Windows shatter and the chandelier above begins to sway as the shockwave hits a second later. Dust trickles down from the roof and to your dismay, some of it lands in your wine. You hurry to a balcony overlooking the city and see an intense fire burning at one of the warehouses by the docks. The nearby water in the Golden Horn is also ablaze and the fire has already spread to several ships in the busy inlet. While their crews are in the process of abandoning them, the harbor area is rocked by a flurry of smaller explosions from the burning warehouse. The next day, after the fire is thoroughly burned out, you inspect the ruins of the warehouse with your bodyguard. You learn from your advisors that the house, the building house, the primary stockpile of liquid fire, or Greek fire, as it is commonly referred to outside the Empire. The hell is it? Dragon sauce? I don't know. Slow burning liquid. Okay, point is, Greek fire was a real thing. It was a really cool thing, and we don't quite know how it was made, but it was sort of like napalm back in the day. But anyway, um... <laughs> Yeah, the alchemist is pretty much dead. So anyway, we're screwed. Don't I just murder these people? More special tithes. I want one more battle solely on grounds that I might capture a ruler. Alright, so we're going to stand down our regulars, or our non-regulars. So the Catholics managed, or the Orthodox stayed under my control, but these guys did not. Grand landed title to renew. Grand landed title. Halarasi. I can't just transfer them. That's fine. Time to build that cab we need. Gee, more people packing against me, you think? Ooh, boy. Arrival is also a siege leader. So, I'm going to just destroy the fleet. So, you're trying to seduce my daughter, eh? Speaking of intrigue and plots and all that. Thanks for the 70 bucks. Duchy of Argusi operates independently, as always. I mean, I have a claim on a Croatian province I could push, but they're packed it against me, so that'd be a threat. Amalfi has no interest in vassalizing under me due to false religion, but... What a, what a shame, if only he knew better. Uh, it's the trade map mode. Gee. 
Somehow we need to conquer any of this. So right now the Fatimids control all of that trade and I want that money for myself. So Lania is invading Karasand. That's weird. With Selyx at war with? Shame I can't try to vassalize Alani. They might go for it. Zirid. I could. Would not hurt. But I'd really like to take you out. But no, I have a CB for you, but not you. Hmm. Weird. So that's all shattered. Castile's all over the place. Aragon is the only one that really looks like he's got his act together. Portugal hasn't even formed. France nor England is independent again, so that's cool. Well, what I could do is I could start looking for heirs. I can start inviting claimants in and see what I can do with that. We live in Scotland. How's Croatia look? What kind of Croatian situation? Definitely not an option. So I could invite a Hungarian claimant and take Hungary as a kingdom. And I could probably just repeat the process with the Piasts. I remember playing as the Piasts. They were fun. Kingdom of Bohemia doesn't even have any claimants. So we're going to invite Hungary guy. Special interests him. He might be useful. Now, I don't need this. So it's yours. That'll probably fix my economy, to be honest. This is vassal factioning. No. <laughs> the battle off the Crimean coasts. News have arrived in the Black Sea. The task force you sent was successful. Uh, we lost our own ships, but we have the prize. A young woman named Despina. The vixen was apparently the galley's captain. She claims to be the daughter of the pirate king. The letter. You have something mine, I have something yours, to propose a trade. We're not dicks. Get your alchemist informed on my honor, my apologies with the wires and docks, we had to cover our tracks. Hey, we got what we wanted. We lost 50 prestige, but we got our navy supremacy, which should be a thing. I mean, you have Greek fire events, and you can't do anything with Greek fire. I don't get it. Please, I wish. I wish. Uh, kings of Egypt. Nope. You just trying to kill my son? How 
Have fun with that. Thanks for 10 quid. There should be an auto stop dynasty from self destructing button. That would be useful. I need 80% plot power. I'm at 40. Mm. Can we buy it about 20% more? Excommunicated. Can you get excommunicated? This is land. Oh, you used to be like the King Christ or something, no? Alright, well, give me money. Can I do that again? <laughs> no, that's my alarm. So I need to wrap this up. Did he just fight me? This isn't gonna end well for you, mate. That's why. I mean, do I have this dude commanding troops over here somehow? No. Alright, well, uh, my nephew has created the Kingdom of Bulgaria. That's fine. That's actually exactly what I'd want him to do. So now we have a King of Bulgaria. We have kings everywhere we need, except in my domain. It's not a bad place to be, honestly. Do I need any more particular types of retinue? And that'll grow more later. You know, it's like right now we're just building out our stuff. Nifon. I mean, I'd like to be able to revoke his title for some reason, but I can't. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this episode, please like, share, subscribe, friend, follow, whatever buttons. It really does help the channel grow. It lets me know what you're watching so I can make more of it. And I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And as always on this channel, La Paz.